It's been three months since the House passed a bill providing emergency relief for Christians in Iraq and Syria. The Senate has yet to vote on it. Our next guest will help us understand the reason why it is so important and why Christians in the Middle East need help. Joining us now, Bishop Gregory Mansour of the Maronite Catholic Eparchy of St. Marin of Brooklyn. Welcome to the program. Thank you, Lauren. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Tell us what this bill will do for Christians in the region. I know that when Chris Smith and I were walking the pro-life march, he told me he was just there in Iraq, as you have been, and he said, these Christians are all caring for themselves. Nobody's looking at them. So why should they be excluded from U.S. government money or U.N. money just because they're wise enough to take care of themselves? And that's what this bill is hope, hopefully to do. You are also on the board of In Defense of Christians, and that's a nonprofit dedicated to helping Christians in, in the Middle East. Tell us why the return of Christians to their communities is so important, not just for them as persons, but to help with religious dialogue in the Middle East. Christians are the salt of the earth. That's just, I mean, I'm, I'm not a, uh, I think I'm a little, uh, a prejudice, but they really are. I know that from my trips to the Middle East, they are the salt of the earth, the hospitals and nursing homes, the care facilities, the schools. And so having Christians remain in their small villages, and here's where ISIS was so clever. They knew they could go into those areas because there was no defense and no one would speak up It's so them. true. We traveled through those towns. I saw some towns, it, here we are, it, completely, absolutely destroyed, bombed out. This man came back and his entire house had been in flames. ISIS dug tunnels in his living room to hide weapons. Mm -hmm. So I know that you're going to help them by planning a summit here in Washington in October. Is it open to anyone? What's it the is, goal? It is, Lauren. It's open to anybody. Two goals. One, one, to let the media know a little bit about as you are doing, but second, to let the halls of power in Washington know. Not to forget the, the evil intent of ISIS and the good intent of the Christians and other religious minorities there to live at peace with their Sunni and Shiite neighbors. So I think it's very important for us to advocate for them. Especially because they can't really advocate for themselves yes. here. All yes. right, thank you so much. Bishop, we truly, truly uh, appreciate you coming. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank, Thank you. you so much.